It's really fascinating. You think maybe it was the people from that junkyard? Yeah, that's a good possibility. That is 91, 1992 Western Hockey League, unopened. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, that's incredible. Toxic sludge. Yeah, there's a ladder here. It definitely used to lead somewhere. Is that a chair? That is a chair. Oh, yeah. Looks like it's in better days. It's like a work chair. So many tires here, it's filling the place in. Yeah. Well, that is certainly interesting. This place is wild. See that opening right there is where we were underground. Oh yeah. In 1891, the Clayton and Lambert Manufacturing Company was founded. They began as a company that designed heat tools, but in the early 20th century would dip their hands in the automotive market. They would open an automotive stamping division within their company. In 1919, they would construct the Connor Stamping Plant. In 1925, the stamping plant, which was called the Noddle Division, would be sold to the Hudson Motor Car Company. Hudson Motor expressed desires to expand the plant. They would hire architect Albert Kahn to begin working on the additions to the factory. In 1954, after Hudson had merged with the Nash Kelvin Otter factory, they would close the plant and move their production to Wisconsin. In 1956, Cadillac would buy the plant and use it to create body panels for their cars. By the mid 80s, the plant had become outdated and inefficient. In 1986, the plant would close and 700 employees would lose their jobs. But that wasn't the end for the Cadillac stamping plant. That is a lot of tires.
Wow. It's cool. It's just that looks pretty interesting. Good condition. A check for seven thousand dollars. Yep. Among all this ash. Surety Bank and Trust. Wow. What is that? It says Detroit Fireman's Fund Association, 1979, Certificate of Appreciation. Wow. That's cool. And it's, it was caught on fire, which is kind of ironic. Still a pretty cool bit of history. Yeah, and tickets to a fund, 1979. Wow. Richmond, Michigan, on grass shit in 28 and a half mile. Circus act. That's so cool. That's kind of like, that's kind of cool. That's really cool. Why, well, yes, I am still here, graffiti. That's amazing. That's incredible. Definitely not something you see every day. What? I said definitely not something you see every day. Amazing. It's incredible. Such a beautiful factory. This revolutionary and historic plant would be closed for nearly 10 years before being bought in 1993 by the Ivan Doverspike Company. They were a company that specialized in making manufacturing tools. Many of the machinery in the main hall was scrapped, and new machines would take their place. Other parts of the plant were used for storage of various things, like vintage cars and a huge collection of hockey and baseball cards. The Ivan Dover Spike Company would move their plants elsewhere, and in 2013, the Cadillac Stamping Plant would be purchased by Bill Holtz. Holtz promised to renovate the factory and turn it into a plant, creating modular homes. However, this never came to pass. Instead of renovating the plant, he stripped it for all of its valuable metals and machinery. The factory has been abandoned ever since. As for the mystery behind all the hockey cards, they were purchased by a man named Hub Hemmen. He was a prominent member of the tool and die business and knew Ivan Doverspike. Doverspike allowed Hemmen to store all of his cards in the factory as he planned to sell them at a later date. But the cards were forgotten about and Hub Hemmen would eventually suffer from dementia before passing away in 2013. According to his son, John Hemmen, there could be thousands more hockey, baseball, and NASCAR cards scattered throughout Detroit, forgotten about, waiting to be found. Oh, it's the roof. Yeah, it was. It's a smaller roof. <laughs> wow, look at that. You can see downtown Detroit from here. Yeah, you can see almost the whole city, pretty much. That's a beautiful view. The 
Cadillac stamping plant has existed for over a century. It's a symbol of Detroit's industrial age, an age long since past. Even though now it's in a state of decay, it's affected the lives of many thousands of people, and it's an important part of Detroit's cultural history, and now it will never be forgotten. Kiss in my face, you're amazing You swear too often, give me that look Now I'm dead, put me in a coffin Now you keep me up at night La-di-da-di-da-di, watch your movies black and white La-di-da-di-da-di, when I see you of a joy I'm your Paris, you're my Helen, yeah, we safe in Troy La-di-da-di-da